there, my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter, and bienvenidos to my kitchen, where I'll be teaching you how to cook for charity. I came up to New York for my birthday, and it's quite cold here. Yeah, I could put on a jacket or a sweater to keep warm, but I wanted to do something that can give me nice cold resistance, just like in Breath of the Wild. So what dish could we do that can give me that nice buff? Well, I can roast some peppers, but if I make them too hot peppers, you know, you might burn your mouth with the scovels. So I said, why don't we make a dish that I love to make in Breath of the Wild, the spicy peppered steak. But we're not just using any type of pepper. We're going to be using the habanero. A really, really hot pepper, but when you marinate it correctly, you can come out with this amazing product. So hopefully you can enjoy this steak and eat it, so when it's cold by you, you can get some nice cold resistance and run out in the wild and do whatever you need to do. So without further ado, compadres y mamacitas, let's get cooking. Before we start cooking, let's go over the ingredients you're going to be needing for this dish. First, you're going to need 12 habanero chili stemmed, 5 garlic cloves crushed and peeled, 1 cup of peeled chopped carrots, 1 medium sweet yellow onion chopped, 1 cup of white vinegar, 1 cup of water, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of cumin, 1 tablespoon of turmeric, a quarter cup of sugar, a third a cup of lime juice, a third a cup of orange juice, 1 tablespoon of olive oil, 3 New York strips, 3 pork chops, salt, pepper, and optional if you want to garnish the plate and make it look like it's from the game, 2 habanero chilies, and mixed greens. First, you want to peel your carrots and chop them into small little pieces. Then after that, you want to work on chopping your onion, and then crushing your garlic and peeling it. Then on medium-high heat, add your pan to your stove and add some olive oil to it once it's nice and hot. Next, you're going to roast your garlic in a skillet over medium heat, turning it regularly until it's soft and blackened in some spots. This should take about 5 to 10 minutes. In the same pan, you're going to combine your carrots, your onion, your habanero chilies with the vinegar, one cup of water, your salt, sugar, and your spices. Give it a nice stir, and then you're going to simmer it on medium-low heat until the carrots are nice and soft and tender. This should take about 20 minutes. You're going to partially cover your pot. Once everything's soft and tender, you're going to spoon it into your blender, and then you're going to start to puree it. During the puree, you're going to add your orange juice and your lime juice into the mix and keep on pureeing it until everything's mixed well. Once you finish pureeing your marinade, set it to the side so it can cool. While you're waiting for your marinade to cool, set your meat outside so it gets to room temperature and then season it with some salt and pepper. Whatever you're going to marinate your meat in, put the marinade down first and then add your meat. You want to completely cover the steak and the pork with this marinade. Then you want to marinate it for about 3 to 24 hours in the fridge. The longer, the better. First, we're going to cook the steak, so on high heat, you're going to add some oil to the pan, and then once it's ready, you're going to add your steaks down and char it on one side. Once it starts to char, then you're going to turn the heat down to medium and continue cooking the steaks for about 3 minutes for medium rare. Then you're going to turn the steaks over, turn up the heat back up to high, and char that one side again. Once it's charred, then you're going to turn it back to medium for about 2-3 to three minutes, and then your steak should be medium rare. Last thing you're going to do is tilt your pan to the side and then sear the fat of your steaks for about 15 to 30 seconds and then you're going to set your meat to the side so it can rest. The pork's even easier, you're just going to set it down on medium high heat on one side for 4 minutes and then when it's nice and golden brown you're going to turn it and cook it for another additional 4 minutes on the other side. After that, just get ready and plate it, serve it, and your Breath of the Wild peppered steak is done. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's my favorite part of the video where we get to taste what we just made. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to dive right in. Now, be warning, a little warning to you. Habanero is hot, so it might be a little too hot. So let's see how I'm going to taste it. First, I'm going to go into the steak, cooked medium rare, just like how I like it. Ooh, that's good. You chew it a little bit, and you get a little bit of sweet. And after a while, you get, bam, that nice kick of habanero. And it's not too hot. Most of the marinade burnt off and was infused while we marinated it, and while we were putting it in the pan, it cooked off. So it's not way too hot, and it's actually the perfect amount of spice, you know, to keep you nice and warm in this winter. But we also made some pork, so we're going to try the pork. Now, the pork has a little bit more marinade on it, so it might be a little bit more hotter, but it's the same thing. Sweet in the middle, and then bam, you get that spice. Perfect if you're going out in the wilderness like Link. So if you need that cold resistance, don't be afraid to make the spicy pepper. Because this meal might be hot, but it's well worth it. Once again, my compadres and mamacitas, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said in the past, when you watch my videos, money is made. That money is automatically donated to charity. I keep none of the funds in my videos 
everything goes to charity. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment below. And if you didn't like it, give it a dislike and tell me why. I love reading your constructive criticism. I really hope you enjoyed this dish, guys, and I really hope you make it. it you might be afraid that, oh, habanero is too spicy for me, but you know, it's, it, it's actually a great pepper to work with, and this marinade is absolutely delicious. And you can use it for more stuff, or fish, or for any other meat you would like, even chicken if you want. And uh, now I'm sorry for the little bit of delay in the videos. I just got back to school in January and I'm working on the rest of my flight training before I head off to the airlines. Uh, so I've just been a little bit preoccupied with that. But I wanted to get this video out for you guys. And in February I have a few more videos. And I'm also working on a top secret project that may or may not take your breath away. Uh, it might be a little bit wild. Uh, something really, really big that I'm working on and I really, really hope uh, you guys will enjoy it when we, I unveil it uh, very, very soon. I'm working on with it with a few other good uh, friends of mine. And it's going to be a great, great, great project. If you have any other dish recommendations you would like me to do from any other video game, let me know in the comments below. I would love to do it for you guys. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Adios. Stay sexy.